Welcome to New Minds Learning Center. My name is Beryl Mohammed. My students call me Miss Beryl. And if you're struggling with math, this is the channel you need to be on. We are all about how-to math videos, tips, and easy solving methods. So if you want to know how we're making math easy, stay tuned. Just like every day, every day. If it's your first time here, welcome to the class. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. So this video that you're about to see right now is my fractions to decimals. I'm doing a simple fraction to decimal conversion. So take a look and I'll see you on the other side. As you can see from the title, we're doing fraction to decimal. How do we convert this? Let's have a look. So here I've set up three questions for you all to have a look at. We have eight and four tenths. We have six and 26 hundredths. We have nine thousandths. Now, the first thing to know is that you have to know the place values for decimals. So I'm just gonna show you quickly down here. What are the place values? Usually when you see a decimal, you have your usual ones, tens, and hundreds place, which goes on this side of the decimal. So you have ones, tens, hundreds going away from the decimal, okay? Now, after you pass through the decimal, you have the first place value is the tenth place with a TH, very important. Hundred, what am I doing? Hundredth place goes up here, ignore that. And then the thousandth place is the third place from the decimal place. So the first place is the tenth, the second place value is the hundredth place, and the third is the thousandth place. Now, if we go back to this first question here, we see eight and four tenths. How would we write this fraction into a decimal? Now, first of all, this is a whole number, so you would just go ahead and write the eight. But when it comes to four tenths, you say eight and four tenths, so if you imagine the decimal to be your and, this is how you're gonna remember, it. it's gonna be easier this way, eight and four tenths. So that becomes 8.4, because as I showed you down here, the 10th place is the first place value after the decimal. So eight and four tenths, it's in the 10th place. All right, let's look at the next one. Six and 26 hundredths. This is the whole number, so we don't do anything. We don't change that because that's in the ones place of the place value normally before you get to the decimal point. It's a whole number. So six is the whole number and is your decimal. 26 hundredths, you're going to write 26 here because the number ends in the hundredth place. So six and 26 hundredths. All right, hope you're all following me here. Any questions, please ask below, remember, as always. So let's look at the third one, nine thousandths. Now, there's no whole number here. So then there's no value. So you put a zero and, right? Now your thousandth place is third away from the decimal point. So there's no value in the tenth place, no value in the hundredth place, and then your nine goes there. So nine thousandths is 0 0.009. And that, my friends, is how you change fractions to decimals. And I kept it simple because I kept them as tens, tenth, hundredths, and thousandth place. There are other numbers that you can do. I'll probably do that in another video. But for now, this is how you would um, change the fractions to decimal with these particular numbers. Any questions, like I said before, ask below. If you have any other strategies, please share and join me next time. Thank you for watching. So what did you think? That wasn't too bad, was it? So like I said, I kept it very simple. I just did the tens, the hun tenths, hundredths, and thousands. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful doing that, right? But yeah, so I just kept it simple. Obviously, like I said, there's other numbers that you could do, right? And um, simply ask me below and I'll have no problem uh, going through them with you, all right? I might even, like I said, make another video to do with that. But fraction to decimal conversion is easy once you know your decimal place values. All right, so your homework assignment for tonight is like, give me a big thumbs up and 
please subscribe please subscribe yes hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you will know every time I upload a video which is every Wednesday thank you so much for watching and uh, please comment below I love to hear from you guys and I answer every single comment all right so thank you so much and I will see you next time in another math video class dismissed mm -hmm.